story points versus hours. Many time I get this question people asking one story point means how many hours or how many days and then I say okay it may not equate to a number of days or number of hours and then they may start feeling that okay what is the purpose of doing story point when we can't calculate how many hours or days uh, this get converted into. So in this video we are exploring why should not we equate story point with hours and then we will also explore what is the correlationship between the amount of effort we are spending and the story point. So there has to be some correlationship as well. Now when you I have few items and which will help me in, in talking about why should not we equate the story point with hours. Who will work on it? Now whenever you talk about effort it directly relates with whose effort. If this is a story and you are working on it, you can tell how many hours you will take. If I am working on it, I can take how many hours I will take. How can we have a generic number saying one thing will take X amount of hours where we don't have all the, the, the team members coming up with the same skills, with the same background. We have a different people doing different job. You may have a situation where some of the team members are new. You may have a situation where other team members are experienced. So usually the effort relates to who is doing it. In project management also when we look at an activity, when we look at a task, first we need to identify who will work on this task, who will work on this particular activity and based on that particular resource or the individual or the infrastructure we figure it out okay this much time this particular activity will take because this type of server or this type of individual or this type of infrastructure is going to work on it. When we are doing story point estimation, we are looking at a product backlog level. We are doing it little bit ahead than the execution of that user story. We don't have a clear understanding of making that user story getting executed in the next few days and that's why we don't want to get into the details of who will work on it and we want to keep the conversation at a size level, generic level which represents a type of complexity involved in a given item. Now somebody will say, okay, I understand all this can't we make a hypothetical character that you know a person with a 10 years of experience who has been working in our company for 20 years and who has a all focus today and has no problem will take one day. Probably yes yeah that could be then then you can say that yeah I have a hypothetical guy who will work on it but again that will become a hypothetical effort. It will not become an effort you, you need to still look into what was the actual effort when you relate to a particular guy who is working on, on that particular item. But there are other reasons where just putting a hypothetical character may also not work. The another thing which we want to talk about technical sequence and here even if you talk about a hypothetical guy may start failing. So when we have a multiple items the user story comes from the perspective of user. Yeah, they are talking about what value they want to get it. But when you think of implementation, your focus also goes into solutioning. You may end up designing one screen which may take care of 10 user stories. Now you may end up designing the infrastructure, the foundation of that screen for the one which you get first, the story you get first. Later on rest of the user story may go fast. But we don't know which one will come as a first story. Or we may start thinking too much about technological division of the work which is also not a good idea. So when we are doing story point estimation, we are doing little bit ahead than implementation plan. At that point in time the exact sequence of work is not identified. The real effort consumed in a given user story will be dependent on the sequence. So when you are doing your sprint planning, iteration planning, you know exactly this is there and this is what I have to do and based on that I can estimate. But when you are doing story point estimation, that point in time you may not have an understanding of when I am going to work on this particular user story and that's why estimating effort is difficult but estimating the complexity and the, the uncertainty attached to with that user story is relatively easier and we are doing relative estimation there. Your definition of done is evolving. What all activities you need to do for a given user story depends upon acceptance criteria as you already know but also depends upon your definition of done. And your definition of done is not fixed. Over a period of time you want to improve it. Now exact effort needs to be taken care in account the current definition of done. When I am doing a sprint planning meeting I need to look what is my definition of done. But when I am doing the estimation at a user story level 
may be two iterations, three iterations ahead than particular user story get implemented, I am making judgment may be based on the current definition of done or understanding of definition of done, but that may evolve over a period of time and that may change the amount of effort which I may put into it. So for example, non-functional testing may not be a part of your definition of done today, but it may become a part of your definition of done in the next iteration. So is it like that as soon as you change the definition of done, you want to revisit your all stories? You don't because relatively it is not impacting. So relatively all the, the stories will take one more hour and that's okay. Yeah, so that's the reason we don't want to equate it directly with a particular number of hours. So your definition of done is, is improving. You are improving your domain understanding, your technical understanding, your team is learning every day. As we discussed before, the story point estimations are done little bit ahead, maybe two months ahead in time and you are revisiting it at a frequency, but every day, every week you are learning. You might be learning about the domain, you might be learning, your team might be learning about the technology also and that learning improves their work on a iteration basis, on a daily basis. So putting the assumption without considering those improvement or overestimating those impro improvement might be also a risky thing. That's why we don't want to talk in a hours. We don't want to talk in a hours. We want to talk in a uh, story point number. Your product is evolving. What does it mean? Say when you have a raw green field, you are adding new few user stories. Initially it might be difficult, but later on it may become easier and after the project becomes product becomes complex, it may become more slower, complex. So usually adding things may take more time initially because the basic infrastructure is not there, but you will reach to a tipping point when it becomes fast and after a while it will become slower because you need to take care of integration, putting code into the complex uh, environment is becoming little, little uh, more and more challenging. So how can I estimate the effort without knowing where the product will stand at a given point in time? Because we are doing little bit long duration estimate when we are doing story point estimation. And that's why we don't want to get into hours space. We want to say, okay, we are doing relative complexity. If story pointer one will take a day, story pointer two may take two days. But if the story point one will start taking one and a half day, the story point two may start taking three days. And that kind of a correlation we are just going to discuss, but we don't know exactly how many hours or days a particular story will take because of these, these factors. Your team dynamics. You have a experienced guy leaving the organization or you have a new member joining the team. And all these team development stages also impact your overall working on the work. So actual effort depends upon how the collaboration is happening in the team level and change in that collaboration or dynamics can also change your actual effort. So we can't estimate the team dynamics for the next month and that's why we want to estimate the size in the absolute size manner only. Now after listening all this, you may get an idea that okay, we understand it might be difficult to estimate and equate story points with hours because it's progressively discovered, the hours are progressively discovered and story point estimations are usually done little bit ahead in time, but we, re we revisit them and we add our better and better understanding as we go along. But is there any correlation between story point and efforts? It has to be. There has to be some understanding which can tell one pointer is half than two pointer. Yeah? Uh, or you can say two pointer will take half than the five pointers or, 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 or less than, than uh, half than the fine pointer. So there has to be some correlation, but there cannot be a linear one. You can't just say all the two pointers will take 20 hours. Yeah. But you can say, yeah, the five pointers may take X to Y hours and the two pointers are expected to take 50% of the time. So we can say that we may end up historically, we may observe and we may realize that, okay, maybe a one pointer and I can do this study based on my past data. I can say, okay, what all we really did in the previous iterations and how much time we were spending or how much effort we have spent for a given story, maybe a story pointer one. And you may realize that there were few which were done in two hours. There were few who took say 15 hours and their own majority of them were done at a eight hours. So this understanding is, is, is there and then you may also start seeing it the similar uh, 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 pattern for the next number you can say yeah the two one usually the average was coming around say 17 hours but there was a range which was starting from 9 hours to say 25 hours something like this. So you may know that okay my two pointer is coming here my one pointer is coming here and it helps me in forecasting. Uh, my, my velocity forecasting that how much time a given set of user stories will take in the upcoming 
uh, 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 iterations. But the range is important. We cannot have a very uniquely identified number and there is an overlap. You can say this period, there, are, there was a time where one pointer took more than the two pointers and there was a two pointer who may got done uh, uh, faster than the one pointer. But if we don't have this kind of a correlationship, then we may have a problem in our relative sizing also. Now, when we say that there is to correlationship, but this correlationship is not fixed. Means, as your DOD is improving, as your product is, is becoming more and more complex, you may start seeing shift happening in these, these numbers as well. Maybe shift towards this direction or shift towards left direction, which means that the, over a period of time, your two pointers may start taking less time or your one point pointers may start taking more time and your whole shift of that particular sizing can be seen, can be visualized. Now, this shift helps us in also doing problem solving. We know that if we are shifting towards the, the complex side, Maybe there are logical reasons because of definition of done is becoming more and more stringent. Maybe there are scope of improvement that we can improve some of the infrastructure, automate some work and bring it towards the, the left side. So there is a correlationship. This correlationship can also get tested maybe on monthly or every two months level. And this helps us in, in developing better understanding for our future forecast and identifying the improvement areas with our team. It's a good exercise which we can do in the retrospective meetings. So if someone is asking you how many story points you will take to do a particular, uh, how many hours it will take to do a particular story point, you might want to use some of these reasons to explain why it is very difficult to equate story points directly to the hours. You may have your own reasons to add to it. I just wanted to give you some reasons to start with.